Hello everyone, this is Eugene Blind and this is my Europe on your service for strategy guide for Portugal. So, uh, as for me, Portugal is one of the best uh, countries for beginners and that's why this guide will be mostly oriented on them. Uh, so, Portugal is uh, the good uh, sta start in year 4 because mostly because of its uh, geographical position. So, as you can see, you are far from the main European powers, far from the main European wars. Uh, also, we have a good buffer in face of Castile, who will uh, protect you from all these uh, wars. Also, you have the uh, historical friend modifier with them, so you are in quite good position. But at the same time, yes, you ha uh, you have uh, limited ways where you can to expand. If you are not willing to fight with Castile, and for beginners I strongly recommend you not to do this, so the only way to expand is the Magrippin. But we will take talk about it a bit later. So, when we start, what do we have? We have uh, some middle-sized navy, and as for me, a really small army. But you have uh, Possibilities to uh, hire new forces as well as build new ships, and you, I, you should do it. Also, if we speak about the Portugal ideas, they're quite nice, they're good, but unfortunately, they are all about economy, er, trade, and colonization. They're really good, but. Uh, um, as for beginners, I think uh, it is better to have some military ideas. But nevertheless, they are quite good. So, if we speak about the potential allies and rivals. So, you start, you start already with uh, uh, England as your ally, but I strongly recommend you to break this alliance just from the start. Because England will surely drag you into wars with France, because France will would like to retake their core provinces. So, and it will be a war where you have no any, you will have not got any profits, but just you will have the possibility France came to you. So, you should better break this alliance and make an alliance with Castile. So as I already said, it, the historical, your historical friend and it is the best choice for you. So speaking about rivals, so for example here the Morocco and Tunisia. So and mostly your rivals will be the countries of the Maghreb region. Morocco, Tlemcen or Tunisia. Maybe Granada but they are most likely too small for you. So, and uh, the f your first war is mostly always will be with some somebody of them. So you should uh, uh, look for who have less allies, Morocco or Grenada, and call your ally Castile to help you in this war. Castile also helped the, from the start of the mission to finish uh, Reconquista, so the best uh, decision for you will be to take two provinces, I suggest to take two, this one and to give this one to Castile, or in other case they will become hostile to you as you take the provinces they, which uh, they are desired. So, in the Morocco, I strongly recommend you to, to take, for, for the first war or two wars, just these provinces, the provinces of the civilian trade node. Why? Uh, there are several factors. First of all, the culture. Berber culture is not accepted in Portugal. Uh, second is the religion, Sunni. This religion is uh, really hard to convert, especially at the start of the game. 
so you will have a lot of problems with rebels and so on. So you you will have the mission to conquer Tanger and as far as I remember this province. So yeah, they uh, can be taken. Oh yeah, and uh, also one of the main uh, problems of uh, conquering provinces here is this. The Berber traditions is a hostile co-creation. It is, uh, you will pay twice as much here for coring the provinces. So, uh, as for me, one of the alternative strategies, rather than to spend too many uh, admin points on coring provinces, you, are, uh, you can release uh, nations from Morocco, they are free, free nations you can release, there's uh, uh, this one and this one. So, I recommend you to release them maybe not uh, all at once but one by one for example and in our wars you can vassalize them and feed them with the uh, Moroccan cores Moroccan provinces and as well as it themselves yeah uh, if you release this you have some chance that Tlemcen will attack them and conquer but uh, yes there is some kind of risk but I can repeat it, but to it will be too costly to call all of these problems, and more, moreover, you will have some problems with rebels. Not some, you will have some. You have a lot of real problems with them. So uh, yeah, and playing the from the vassals, uh, it will be easy because you will have only. Yeah, uh, you will have only one diplomatic relation, so instead of England you will have Castile, so you will have three left. I don't think that you will need some other allies, France or England, because uh, they will drug, uh, drag you into their wars. So Castile will be enough and all the three left are, can be uh, spent on your vassals. So, and of course, uh, if we speak about your uh, idea groups, first of all, first idea group should be uh, exploration ideas. Portugal is a country uh, which is mu which must go into colonies. They have uh, ideas for this, and their geographical position is for this. So they're really close to all of the colonies and. Uh, it is one of the main uh, ways to expand for playing Portugal. So that's why you should take the exploration idea first and the expansion idea as a second, because it also will grant you uh, extra colonists. So you will have three colonists and it will make your expansion really fast. Uh, so, as far as I think for the start, it will be enough information for you. I hope this video will be will help you in your first games. So, and I hope to see you soon on my channel to to see my other videos. So, thank you for your attention and goodbye.